Okay, Nappy, let Brenda go in now. Other way. You gotta go on your feet first, Brenda. You gotta go to your feet first. Click on the green button when you finish. <laughs> you did it. There you go. Okay, go ahead, say it. Say, uh... Turtles! Turtles! Turtles. And then a Okay, get down from there. Thank you. Six o'clock. Can you set Dan to match my time? Job, You're a natural. <laughs> You're a natural. What is this? I can explore a little tight. We have to go to the bats now. We have to go to the bats. Brandon, come on, let's go look at the bugs. Brando, come on. Nappy. The purple one, I bet. That one? That's a pretty one, all right. I want the purple one. Look at these beetles up here. They're ginormous. That's right. Look at this grasshopper. Look at the mosquito. Look at the mosquito, 32. Is that what it is? Let's look at number 32. Oh, it's a wasp. It's a wasp. It's like a, it's like a bee. Look at a 70. 70. 70. Cicada. This one's called a walking stick. This one, it looks like a stick. What is Spider? Not here, maybe, maybe farther up. Let's go look. I didn't see them up here. I like these. Those are huge. It's over there. What about your brother and your cousin? Go Brandon, go Brandon.
wants him to sleep over. She doesn't get a chance to, to spend time with him. So stop playing around. Granny, get out of there. That's incredible. Yes, it's it's a play on uh, That's Incredible. I know, I figured that. That's incredible. Listen, listen, listen. Incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom Vineyard. I'm a volunteer presenter at the Organization for Vet Conservation. We're an organization whose purpose is to preserve and conserve bats and educate the public about that. We are not part of Cranbrook. We are a separate organization. And uh, we do partnership with Cranbrook so to bring. So in order to get the picture, the cameraman had to move up very close to the bat. The bat just sat there. And so we didn't get any interesting photos. Anyway, she did a Dripson fruit bat or a Stella Luna bat. Are you ready to come out? Suey is a young bat. She just started program, so she's not as well behaved as some of her other bats. Come on. She's just learning how to do this. And once they learn how, they're pretty good. Oh, Hi, Suey. This is Suey. Like I said, if anyone wants to take a picture, they can still do that. <laughs> well, that boy, I shouldn't have said that. She immediately left those. Now, as you can see, those of you who can see, mm -hmm. so he gets pretty funny. That's, That's how we keep track of our small bats. Uh, we put fingernail polish on their toenails so we can keep them one from another. These bats also all have microchips in them. And so when we, we do a medical procedure on them or for their annual physicals, uh, we actually use the microchip number to keep track uh, because we could easily switch the toenail colors if we are Like I said, she's just new and she's not really used to all of this yet. See how pretty she is? These are pretty nice bags. Is that getting your hair or anything like that? Okay. They're really nice little bags. Like I say, she is, she is just getting, just starting to do programs, and she's in training, so she's not real good at it yet. But we got to get everybody used to doing programs. Like that bat? Our bats really have a good union. Uh, we use our bats for programs, and then uh, today I used Suey and Greedy, so they then uh, can groups. Uh, uh, churches, libraries, you name it, and we do programs for them. Now this is Greeny. Greeny's an old guy. Greeny's used to us. Greeny's been, we've had Greeny doing programs for about eight years now. So Greeny's just, just into this. He doesn't mind at all. He says, I like to do programs. <laughs> As you can see, he's out of the up for a while. You can see Greeny's eyes wiggle independent of each other. Greeny's a boy. Huge. Wow. You can see he's got a wingspan of about two or two and a half feet. You can see his back has a very pretty coloration to it. It's really a nice little bat. Greeny is nice. You can see he looks, his face looks a lot like a little dog, a little chinchilla, or chihuahua, I mean. We have a, we have a bush baby over there looks a lot like a chinchilla. Okay. But he's really a cute little guy. You can feel when they when they flap their wings, they really make a breeze. Hold on, Greeny. Yeah, there you go. That'd be a good guy. Greeny, yeah, hang down. Oh. 
Okay. So this is Greeny. Greeny is a straw. What happened? Yeah. Where did you go? Do wings, Greeny. Do wings. Yeah, wings is, is part of our program. Okay. And so they flap their wings. We teach them how to do wings. We teach our bats by a positive reinforcement. Way from the top of trees is where they quit off and will hang. Okay, put your hand. Oh, you can drop something. Can bats fly high? Can bats fly high? Bats can fly very high. They have actually found uh, four miles up. And so they can fly very high. Now, if anybody has a two o'clock program, you might want to leave. I will continue to answer questions, however. But we don't want anybody to be late for the two o'clock. Yes? If you want to know how long bats live, bats live as a rule, but depending on the species, between 20 and 30 years. So they live a very long time. Any other questions? Right here. She's got one. Right here. Yes. In the winter, our bats around here fly up north and they go down the uh, copper mines and they live there. Yeah. You can get bat houses uh, on our website. You can buy them in the gift shop down at the bottom here. You know, if you get buy them down here, you have to carry them home. If you get them on the website, you uh, uh, get them sent to your front door. Okay. And you can also on the website get directions on how to make bat houses if you're into that. Matthew, you have a question? Matthew, you have a question? Yes.